Sorry, thank you very much. So uh, I want to talk about uh, the lag box operations for uh, SQL Exclusive Encryption, and uh, this is joint work with uh, uh, Bruce Capecrim. So uh, I guess it starts by reviewing uh, the notion of uh, uh, SQL Encryption. So uh, in its simplest form, uh, we have the notion of one SQL Encryption, which is defined as a game between a challenger uh, and adversary, in which the challenger has a pair of public secret keys PK and SK, and that the adversary receives uh, the challenger's public key uh, as well as an encryption of the challenger secret key on their corresponding public key. And uh, the goal of the adversary is to distinguish between encryptions of uh, plain text uh, 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 of their own choice. So uh, I wanna mention two points here. So the first point is that um, we can actually make this a notion stronger by now, requiring, uh, by, uh, by now requiring the adversary uh, to actually distinguish between encryptions of secret keys and uh, uh, and uh, encryptions of fixed uh, uh, plain text. But since one of our goals is to prove separations where uh, the target notion is uh, SQL encryption, if we make the target notion weaker, uh, our results uh, will be stronger. So uh, the second point uh, that I wanna mention is that uh, uh, it will be uh, actually important how, how, how the secret key uh, uh, is encrypted, namely whether it is encrypted bit by bit or uh, or uh, as a uh, uh, or uh, as a uh, uh, blocks of bits, or uh, whether it is encrypted as a whole, and uh, it turns out that uh, the first two cases are uh, the two most difficult cases uh, to handle, and uh, it also, uh, as I will tell you later, uh, the third case uh, can be very easily handled. I will tell you uh, what I mean by that. All right. So uh, more generally, uh, we have the notion of T secret encryption, in which, the, uh, in which in which the challenger now has T pairs of public secret keys, and uh, and uh, the adversary receives all all the underlying public keys as well as uh, as well as an encryption of each secret key uh, under under its next public key in a secular fashion. Okay. And uh, uh, and everything remains the same from from this point on. All right. So uh, the question uh, that is raised is that uh, whether we can base uh, base uh, T SQL encryption on uh, CP encryption. And uh, it turns out that uh, for the case uh, T equals one, and uh, for the full length case, namely uh, the case in which we can uh, encrypt the secret key uh, as a whole, um, uh, uh, there's a sim simple construction in the literature uh, that will work uh, with respect to any CPA encryption that has a syntactic property. And uh, the idea is essentially that if you want to build the encryption algorithm E prime uh, out of E uh, um, on plain text X and the public key uh, PK, uh, we first somehow check that uh, whether X uh, is a secret key of uh, PK or not. And uh, if it is, we will encrypt a safe uh, plain text under PK. And if it's not, we will just encrypt X itself. And uh, this way we will uh, reduce encryptions of secret keys to uh, encryptions of safe uh, plain texts uh, under uh, the basis scheme. And, uh, and uh, the question that remains is that how, uh, how we can actually do this check uh, 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 in, uh, uh, in uh, polynomial time. And, um, um, and uh, it turns out that if the base CPA public encryption uh, has this property that uh, there's a one-to-one -one correspondence between the randomness of the key generation algorithm and uh, the resulting uh, public key, then uh, we can build uh, another PKE on, under which we can do this uh, check efficiently, okay? But um, this construction doesn't seem to extend if you're going to encrypt X bit by bit, and uh, it doesn't also seem to extend uh, if you want to uh, make this scheme secure uh, under uh, T cycles where T uh, is bigger than one. All right, so uh, in terms of uh, previous works, uh, one of the main applications of the notion of SQL encryption uh, is in the context of uh, FHE for uh, converting um, somewhat FHE into uh, pure FHE. And also we now have constructions of several, uh, so uh, we have construction of SQL secure encryption based on uh, various uh, specific assumptions. And uh, on the negative side, uh, we have this result by Rothblum that shows that uh, you cannot use uh, a black box reduction to prove that any CPA uh, bit encryption scheme is also SQL secure. And uh, this result was followed by a series of work that based on various uh, specific assumptions uh, give you CPA schemes uh, uh, that are not uh, circular uh, secure uh, in uh, different settings like uh, in the bit by bit setting and so on. And uh, finally, uh, we have uh, this result that shows that, uh, that, shows that uh, you cannot go from uh, trapdoor permutations 
in a fully black box way uh, to a fully KDM uh, public key encryption uh, in which you can uh, securely encrypt any function of the secret key uh, under its public key. Okay, so uh, two questions that remain are that whether we can build a one circular bit encryption or a T-circular encryption uh, based on CPA encryption. Uh, and I want to emphasize here that uh, for the T-circular case, we don't insist on having a bit-by-bit -bit encryption scheme. All right, so, uh, so uh, we address these two questions by considering uh, a stronger notion that, uh, that we call seed circular security, uh, which is exactly the same as uh, circular, uh, 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 circular uh, security, uh, except that now uh, we are going to encrypt the seed of the key generation algorithm under its corresponding public key. And, uh, uh, and, uh, 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 and uh, this notion is actually stronger because you might, uh, have the inf uh, you might have the key generation algorithm uh, to simply output uh, the underlying seed um, as, uh, 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 as uh, the secret key. So uh, what we show uh, are that um, there, uh, there doesn't exist uh, a fully black box construction of, of uh, one seed circular uh, bit encryption from CPA encryption in a fully black box way. And, uh, um, and uh, we actually show that uh, this result holds even if the seed is going to be encrypted as, uh, as, uh, as uh, blocks of length uh, uh, or of log n bits. And uh, our second result shows that uh, you cannot go from T seed uh, circular encryption to a T plus one seed uh, circular encryption even if the target notion is uh, it's for the weaker case of uh, full length and uh, um, and uh, the base notion is for the stronger case of uh, a bit by bit case. All right, so uh, let me say a few words about uh, fully black constructions. So, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so uh, in cryptography, we really want to show that uh, there doesn't exist uh, a fully black box construction uh, of P out of Q. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, no, no, okay. So, uh, uh, so uh, uh, what I wanted to say is that um, if, uh, if you want to prove that uh, there does exist a fully black box construction of P out of Q, uh, uh, you need to first give, uh, 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 you first need to give uh, 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 a black box construction algorithm, um, which by only having Oracle access to uh, any correct implementation of Q uh, gives you a correct implementation of, of, uh, of a P. And uh, one point that, uh, that I want to mention here is that since uh, the access uh, to the base implementation is uh, as an oracle, uh, the construction will, uh, will make sense even, uh, even if that implementation uh, is not efficient. And, uh, uh, and uh, this is a point that will be leveraged uh, in many uh, separation proofs. And uh, we call uh, this, uh, and, and we call the security proof algorithm a black box if, if uh, the algorithm by, by having access to uh, any implementation of Q, and also by having access um, to, a uh, to a hypothetical adversary that uh, breaks the construction relative to Q, can break the security of uh, alpha Q. Okay, so uh, let's, let, uh, let's review two common templates uh, that are used in the literature for approving uh, a fully black box separation between two, uh, between two primitives uh, P and Q. Uh, under uh, the first template, uh, we first give an ideal implementation uh, O uh, for Q, which cannot be broken even if you are allowed, um, uh, which cannot be broken if you are only going to make uh, a polynomial number of queries uh, to O. And uh, even um, if you're allowed to make uh, expensive offline computation. And, uh, and uh, at the same time, we show that uh, any possible construction G uh, uh, relative to O for P can be broken by a polynomial number of queries to O. Okay? And um, uh, we cannot use uh, this approach because um, the most natural way to use this approach is to let O uh, be a random public encryption. And uh, if you think, if you think of a random public encryption, it will satisfy any notion of uh, uh, security that uh, you can think of. So one cannot use it. So uh, the second approach is um, uh, it's a somewhat 
uh, are similar in that um, uh, in addition to O, uh, we also provide uh, an, another uh, weakening oracle uh, W, which which, uh, which uh, doesn't help to break uh, the queue security of O, but uh, it can be useful for, uh, uh, for uh, breaking uh, any possible construction uh, for P. And again, uh, and again uh, we were not able to use uh, uh, this approach. So, on, so on our separation template um, follows the template of uh, Gertner et al. from uh, 01. And uh, the idea is that basically for, basically for, basically for every candidate construction for, for the target primitive, we provide uh, an uh, Oracle T which helps uh, to break uh, the claim security of the construction, but uh, it doesn't help us, but, but uh, it doesn't help uh, any adversary uh, against, uh, against an ideal implementation of uh, the base uh, primitive. So uh, let me tell you that that's how, um, on how, on how the ideal base uh, impl implementation GED uh, is sampled. On, on it is very easy. So uh, we sample uh, the key generation algorithm and uh, and um, and uh, the encryption algorithm uh, at uh, random, and then uh, and then we define the decryption algorithm uh, accordingly. And uh, we also define uh, two uh, uh, two side oracles that we will use uh, in our proofs. So uh, the oracle U will decrypt ciphertext uh, rel uh, relative to uh, public keys, also outputting. Uh, the underlying randomness, and uh, the Oracle W basically checks at all whether a given public key is uh, valid or not. And I want to uh, uh, and I want to emphasize that uh, in our security uh, proofs, uh, we will not let the adversary to have uh, unrestricted access to you. Okay, so uh, now let me tell you how uh, how the Oracle T works. So uh, so what uh, the most uh, natural approach for uh, defining T would be to let T uh, accept inputs uh, of a claim public key uh, as well as uh, a claim bit by bit encryption uh, of PK's seed uh, uh, under, under PK itself. And, uh, uh, and the T can work by first uh, uh, decrypting uh, the bit ciphertext relative uh, uh, to a matching secret key for uh, PK. And then, and then uh, rerun the key generation algorithm uh, to see that uh, whether we will get uh, uh, PK back. But uh, there are two problems uh, uh, with this approach. Uh, the first problem is that um, uh, the adversary against the base scheme GED, which also has uh, Oracle access to T, can use T in any possible way, right? So uh, it may not call T on a valid PK. And, uh, uh, and uh, we cannot simply Check for for, uh, for the adversary that uh, uh, that whether uh, a given PK is uh, uh, is uh, valid or not because it will give the adversary uh, a lot of power, and uh, uh, and uh, the second problem is that how we can uh, simulate access to T. Uh, what I mean by that is, is that uh, we want to uh, 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 prove that access to T can be simulated uh, by having Oracle access to some safe oracles that uh, do not hurt the CPA security of, uh, of, uh, of, of a GE and D. So, uh, so, uh, so uh, our approach uh, it starts by first uh, resolving it, uh, uh, this problem. So uh, what we do is that um, uh, the Oracle T is going to perform uh, uh, the decryption not relative to O, but uh, relative uh, to some related O, uh, o twiddle. On uh, under which PK uh, is indeed uh, a valid public key, and also O twiddle is uh, close enough to O. Uh, in uh, in the sense that if you perform uh, uh, random encryptions of bits, uh, once relative to O and once relative to uh, O twiddle using uh, the same random randomness, then uh, with high probability 
uh, you will get uh, 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 the same output. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, this will guarantee that uh, if, uh, uh, if uh, the inputs to T are uh, correctly formed, then uh, we will get uh, 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 the correct uh, uh, decryption result. So now, uh, let me tell you that uh, how we can actually uh, form uh, such an oracle O twiddle uh, from O. So well, we want to have an oracle O twiddle uh, that has this uh, property. So well, what I'm going to do is that <coughs> Oops. So well, okay. Okay, so well, I'm going to first uh, sample uh, a set of query response pairs uh, QG in uh, offline mode, mode such that PK is a valid public key uh, relative to uh, QG. And then I will somehow uh, superimpose uh, QG on, on G. Okay, so um, I will tell you uh, what I mean by superimposing. Um, and, I, uh, uh, and I have just changed um, uh, the key generation algorithm. So I will keep uh, 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 the encryption algorithm uh, the same, and I will tell you that that's how we can uh, define uh, the decryption algorithm. So what well, since um, so well, since uh, E twiddle is uh, the same as E, so well, we will uh, obviously have this uh, property. So, uh, so well, let me t tell you very quickly how uh, superimposing works. So uh, suppose that you want to superimpose uh, a set of query uh, 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 response pairs uh, uh, under G. Oops. So suppose that you want All right, so, uh, so well, suppose that you want to superimpose uh, a set of G-type query answer pairs uh, on function G. So uh, we define the function G twiddle uh, to behave as a, as, uh, as a QG if, uh, uh, if, on, uh, if on the given SK uh, is one of these on uh, SKIs, and, uh, uh, and otherwise, uh, uh, we will let it uh, behave as G. Okay. So now um, I have told you that how we can uh, define the Oracle O twiddle. Uh, uh, so now I can give uh, a more general picture of, uh, of uh, the Oracle T. So while well, we first sample a set of query response pairs such that uh, relative uh, to this set of PK uh, is, a, uh, is a valid public key. And then we superimpose uh, this set on the base Oracle O uh, to get an uh, O twiddle. Um, and, then we, um, um, and then we perform the decryption uh, uh, relative to uh, O twiddle uh, to get S. And then, on, 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 and then at the end we are going to do uh, an additional check, which will make sure that uh, the Oracle T is uh, simulatable uh, under some safe uh, oracles. And uh, the idea is basically, uh, it's basically that, uh, that we are going to um, uh, run the key generation algorithm under S uh, to see that uh, whether we get uh, uh, PK as an uh, output, and then we will check that uh, whether all valid public keys that are um, em embedded uh, in the set of QJ uh, are going to appear uh, during uh, this um, execution. So, and then we'll have two uh, theorems that, that, uh, uh, that will show that uh, uh, the Oracle T uh, is useful for, for, uh, 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 for Uh, the standard 
Okay, thanks very much. We have time for questions. Okay, so maybe you get the last one. So you showed the separation from the seed circular. Yeah. So is this because you can't prove it for the normal circular? Or right. Uh, oops, sorry. Yeah, so while, uh, yeah, so while we try to prove it, For right standard um, uh, public encryption, but, but uh, we couldn't do it. And uh, and uh, if I want to tell you uh, quickly uh, uh, that uh, why we need seed security is that uh, we want to be able uh, to uh, regenerate uh, uh, the public key under uh, the recovered uh, public key uh, uh, under uh, the recovered information. And uh, you cannot, in general, go from uh, the secret key. Uh, of an encryption scheme to its uh, corresponding public key, but uh, you can do it uh, if you have uh, the underlying seed. And uh, that is the main reason, uh, informally speaking, at the why we were able to do it for seeds. So, so would it be sufficient just to, to assume that you can generate the public key from the secret key? Or? Yeah, 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 something like that, yeah.